Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare, what to expect, and kind of like the overview of Team of the Year promo. Now, yesterday, I did touch on it in upcoming Mutt content, but it is getting closer and closer now. People have been asking, will it be before Series 4 or will it be after? I'd have to say it's probably going to be after, considering we just got playoffs. Two days ago, we got Series 5 or Series 4, sorry, coming out on the 15th. So I'd imagine it's sometime between the 15th and the 20th, because usually, it's usually like around the 14th-ish, but because of things being a little bit delayed, I'd imagine it'd be between the 15th and the 20th, and then the week of the 20th will probably at some point introduce some more playoff content, and then eventually the Super Bowl promo, and then eventually the NFL Honors near the end. And hopefully, hopefully Madden does it right this year and does incorporate the Pro Bowl promo into this as well. Because they haven't done that in what, I don't, I don't remember how long, but I know they used to be really cool back in the older Maddens. I don't know if they do it. I remember one specifically was the Calvin Johnson, like three star, nine nine over a wide receiver at the Pro Bowl. That was always a, that was a cool card. But moving on from that, guys, before we get into today's video, if you're already to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the noti bell, like the video, and of course, if you do need coins for anything, Mutt Reserve, lowered coin counts, lowered coin prices in general, plus the 30% discount using code Poodle. Make sure you go take advantage of it. Don't want to miss out on that. But yeah, moving on, guys. So first things first, let's go to sets. This is how it's going to be laid out for you guys. Team of the Year is a pretty simplistic promo for the most part. So it's going to be a set right here called Team of the Year. You're going to open it up. It's going to have pretty much everything. Now, Team of the Year usually is bracketed. Remember that. So Team of the Year typically never drops all at once. Like, they'll start releasing, like, they'll start with the specialist players, then the offensive players, then the defensive players. Or, like, they'll start with the 95, 96s, and the 97s. They usually bracket it. So typically the day we get it. Now, the cool thing about it is your free nap packs. So I'll get into that in a second. But any fantasy packs you open can apparent can pull you like the nat ones from the souls can pull you the um the highest overall guy like you can get the 97s that aren't released yet so for instance like if you guys remember if you guys save up all your team of the week tokens you do get if you put them all in you get a free team of the year fantasy pack now that pack typically so let's say you open it day one right but they only released the 95 overalls into game yet so you're like kind of how am i going to use this right should i save the pack well in years past on day one i've opened it and i pulled 97 overall todd Gurley. if you remember from madden 19 the, probably the best one they dropped that year now that card in team of the year wasn't pullable yet, but you were able to get them in that pack, but it was not, of course, so you can't sell them. But pretty much what I'm saying here is that pack's gonna be really cool. So remember there's two chances for a free team of the year player. Um there's gonna be two sets when you open it up. It's gonna be like team of the year, um team of the year player and team of the year now you go into it, it's gonna be you're gonna put all your team of the week tokens into it, or team of the week token exchange. Put them all and there's gonna be another set. Um there's gonna be other sets like exchange all these elites for a fantasy pack or exchange these S you know S amount of tokens for uh, this fantasy pack. Or it'll be exchange two 95 team of the year players and a 95 overall lead for a fantasy pack of any player and then team of the year promo, which is like, you know, not pretty cool. You know, sometimes the math's worth it more than not, more than not it's not because if it was worth it, people would be doing it. And then they, or they is worth it and they do it until it's not worth it anymore. You know how that kind of goes. But yeah, the set's going to be cool. And then of course, they're going to be sets for like players and exchanges. Typically, the players themselves don't have their own sets. It's typically all fantasy pack based and like pack based. And you have to pull them. Team of the Year fantasy animations are usually some of the coolest ones of the year. I'm super excited for that. I definitely know it's going to be fun. Now, of course, if you guys save up your Team of the Week tokens, you're set for one free one already. And then if you are set, if you play the solos, typically you get two. Now, the second one's typically auctionable. So, like, I remember one year I pulled Tyree Kill, and that went for, like, a million coins. I sold them, waited, like, a week, and it went down to, like, 400k. So, that was definitely a great value on my end. But, again, again, we don't know who Team of the Year will be yet. I'm probably going to do my Team of the Year predictions coming up probably probably tomorrow. Maybe today, not entirely sure just yet, but I will do predictions on that because, of course, there's a lot of players. The issue is you always want to do predictions like as close to the promo as you can because if you do end up waiting, you actually you get a better sense of like who has a card right. Like, let's say I predict it's not going to happen. But let's say I said like Cam Newton team of the year, right? Uh, obviously, it won't be. Let's say I said that, and then he gets a playoff card. Now it's like, okay, so he's obviously not getting that card, but you already made your predictions. So that's why it's best to hold it out. But at this point, I don't think many of the playoff cards will impact uh, the team of the year cards too much. Just because, you know, they, they, it depends on LTDs. If they do pass the current, but it, hopefully it doesn't mess up too much stuff. But either way, going into that, that's pretty much what you're going to expect. You know, sets, cool cards. They'll probably be like 297s, you know, a bunch of 96s, 95s. You could expect a good amount of players, some cool packs. Probably some packs are like some kind of token thing if there are collectibles for the promo. Typically how they run this promo. A lot of cards, big market crash, super cool card art, card animations. How to prepare, guys. I told you what I always recommend, guys, is called team skimming. Like, team skimming is such an important thing to do. So, you're gonna go over to your team and take a look 
and what you want to replace with Team of the Year. Because remember, Team of the Year are borderline end game cards. They're not end game, but they last you to like March. Like these are the cards that can last you like March. You really don't have to replace because their stats are so close to 99. It's pretty much just circumstantial. And again, as we get later into Madden every year, it seems to be like you know thresholds are so important. So if you get a, if you have a 98 overall, it pretty much hits all your thresholds and everything else. It's not worth replacing for a guy with like plus two stats unless they're 99 overall stats. So it gets to a point where you really don't have to be replacing guys as much as you really think. Like in older Madden's back in like Madden 13, I don't know if thresholds were a thing back then. It didn't feel like it at least. But like, let's say you had Calvin Johnson, right? 95 catching and 96 speed. Then they dropped Randy Moss, 96 speed, 96 catching. Oh, well, they're the same speed, minus one catching. It's not worth it. But back then it was. Like, that was the difference of like a better receiver. Like, at least it felt like it. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if the thresholds were always a thing like that, but maybe they are. I mean, for old people, I understand why they do it. But again, it would be there definitely should be some more transparency because people are always upgrading for like plus two stats without realizing. But anyways, definitely start team skimming. So go through your team and realize like okay, so let's say let's say you have Mark Clayton a wide receiver, right? And he's just starting wide receiver, and you're just like okay, so will there be a wide receiver that drops that can outdo Mark Clayton team of the year? And I personally don't think there will be because current day wide receivers don't get speed. Like Madden does not give him speed. Like if they give us a Julio guys, like he's not gonna have a 97 speed. He's not gonna have a 96 speed. He's not gonna have a 95 speed. Probably have a 94, 95. You know, so maybe they, if they give us another Tyreek Hill, possibly Tyreek Hill will be the only guy, but Tyreek Hill is not your number one receiver, right? It's just He's just one of your receivers that you want to have on the field, but, you know, you have three of them. Point being is go through, like, linemen. Linemen for Team of the Year typically end up being the best linemen at the time because they're going to drop five linemen across the board that are all insane. So definitely take a look at those because, of course, those are going to be very worthwhile. So, like, linemen are the kind of ones that are like, okay, maybe I can replace those. Quarterback, will they drop a quarterback that's better than the current ones we have? Honestly, the odds are no. I mean, unless they drop like some crazy Russell Wilson, but I, again, I'm going to go through my prediction and go through who I think, and then when I make the prediction video, I'll go through who you should be team skimming for running backs. There will be no running back that surpasses Bo. Not possible. There's no current day running Even if they give us Nick Chubb, they give him like a 93, 94 speed. They're not passing him speed-wise. You know why team skimming is so important? Like, just to get to kind of touch on why I was even saying that was because team skimming is the pretty much getting rid of players that you know will be, you know, pretty much substituted in the very near future before they lose their value. So, like I said, let's say... Let's just say, for instance, Mark Clayton. Well, why does he run back with that example? Let's say it was the best right end in the game. Right now, I'll say Strahan. But you know that we're getting an Aaron Donald team of the year. You know he's going to outdo Strahan, let's just say. And you know he's going to kill him, right? He's going to kill his stats. So right now, Strahan's pretty expensive. He's also getting a Redux card pretty soon. You know, you get rid of him at a high price. And then when Donald comes out, you pick him up. But you skimmed off Strahan at the price that pretty much affords you back Donald, right? Now, the thing is that people, what they don't do is they hold their team through this stuff. And they get to the team of the year problem, they're like, oh, I want Donald, I want Jamal Adams, oh, I want Tyreek Hill, I want all these guys. It costs like millions of coins altogether, right? But now when they go to sell back the team, that also costs millions of coins. Those players have now effectively dropped because they're not worth that anymore. Those players are no longer the best players of their position. That's why I always recommend a team skimming out. I'm not, I'm not a believer in selling your whole team for every problem. You don't have to do that. Just kind of see what you think will get cards and kind of skim off. Like if you know that like at end you needed, you've been needing an upgrade, and you know that Madden's going to have one, just sell it, right? And worst case scenario, when the promo drops, you can still pick up that card again if you want. And it'll still be cheaper because either way, cards drop in value after every promo. It doesn't matter if they got new cards that replace them, but they're going to drop in value. So just make sure that you are checking out. You're trying to team skim and do what you got to do. And now in terms of how to prepare, like I said, it was team skimming. Make sure you're getting your coin count ready, guys. I mean, make sure you're getting your solos done. If you have any solos that you want to get finished, play those now because the team of the year grind can sometimes be a little bit long. I don't know how many solo sequences will give us this time around. We're going to have playoff sequences, team of the year sequences, maybe some new, you know, series four solos. We're going to have Super Bowl solos. It's going to be a big month of solo challenges, so make sure you're getting them done as they come out. It'll save you a lot of time, so you guys don't have to go ahead and actually get this done. Because, you know, if you have to, if you end up waiting till the very end to get everything done, that's when you end up just skipping a bunch of them and you miss out on some very easy free stuff. And like I said, team of the year typically introduces the best rewards all year. You get a free team of the year player, and it's usually auctionable or... Well, no, the, the one from the solos is not auctionable. It's typically the one, I think, from your team of the week token. So that's the one that's usually auctionable, pretty sure. But it gives you a chance to get some good players, especially because you can get, like, the highest P. You can get the highest player in the whole promo, right? And then, of course, maybe they'll do something different this year. Maybe they'll do, like, a team of the year master or something. That'd be pretty cool. Like, overall, the greatest player that played this. You won't even have a position. It'll just be the master. I think that'd be super cool. But there's a lot of stuff coming, guys. I mean, like I said, how to prepare a team skim. Um, get your coin count up. Make sure you're getting your coin count up. Like I said, you can't go into this with a little bit of coins because... I remember back, okay, so typically this is the price range of cards. Typically the worst ones in the promo, like the 95 overalls, the worst ones, they're like low 300k. Um, the 95s, 96s, like but the the better ones, typically high 300k. And then you, or maybe a little bit on like 400k, and like the best, best ones, like we've had years where they were like 800k, like the 97 overalls, like the Todd Gurley's, the Bobby Wagner's, Russell Wilson's, 
Gurley and Bob Wagner were like 800K. Russell Wilson and Donald were much lower. They were like in the five, six hundred K range for a little bit, and they came down to like four. It really just depends on the year because there's been years of the market and the coin. They, the coins have been pretty low this year in terms of what, what what's valued at what. So that's definitely helped. But overall, either way, it's gonna be exciting. So make sure you are preparing with some coins. Pretty much the best way to prepare is coins. Skim your team a little bit and just be ready and don't go all in on the playoffs, right? This playoff run was cool, but guys, those heroes only 95 overalls. Pick up like one that you need, like maybe Metcalf, right? Metcalf's good, but don't go pick up all eight of them. Don't go all them out all eight, sorry. All 14 of them. Do not go do that because, of course, if you do end up doing that, team in there probably will have a better play at almost every position that you're going to see there. Now, if you want if you want the Master Steve set, uh, Steve Smith set, that's worth it when it does end up coming back out and stuff. And you know, you're able to actually finish that. That will probably be a worthwhile set. But do the positions, of course, you need. Like, let's say Team of the Year gives you a quarterback, running back, and a cornerback. Then maybe what you do is, you can do the Team of the um, the Playoff Hero set. You pick a defensive tackle uh, and, and a middle linebacker, right? You like you mix it up so that you fill out other positions, plus the Steve Smith. That's the way to do that. But that pretty much wraps up the entire video. Pretty much covers everything I want to talk about. There was no other updates for today in general. There was no, there were just some notes and some other stuff. But nothing important came out of Madden today. So that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the noti bell, comment down below, and let me know what's going on. If you need coins, head over to Mount Reserve. If you want to stack up for Team of the Year and playoffs, coins have been discounted, and you just go Poodle for an additional 30% off your order. I'm out.